It's the Cube covering Sapphire Now 2017. Brought to you by SAP Cloud Platform and HANA Enterprise Cloud. Hey, welcome back to our exclusive SAP coverage here in our studio in Palo Alto, our 4,500 square foot studio. I'm John Furrier. Our three days, we're on third day of Sapphire Now 2017 coverage. I'm on the phone with RJ Bibby, who's the SAP Global Alliance Manager for SAP, handles the relationship. RJ, great to have you on, on the phone, and thanks for calling in from Orlando. Really appreciate it. You bet, John. Uh, love the love the cube. Love Silicon Angle. We're great partners. It's been a great week, and uh, looking forward to talking to you about it. Tell us what's going on on the ground first. Give us the updates on day three. So pretty much everyone's got, you know it's always a great great activities at night as well. So SAP, a lot of business done during the day. They work hard. They play hard. Um, but day three, what's it like? What's what's settling in as the storylines for Sapphire 2017? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, you're starting to feel, you know, you've gone through about, what, we're on our third tour for the partners community. We're in, in day four because we had the partner day. Uh, last night was the, the, the big partner night. Uh, we actually, NetApp with our partners with Cisco and KPIT, did a uh, private event at Universal Studios at the Jimmy Fallon theme park that was uh, highly successful. What was great about today was in the morning, we kicked off with Bill McDermott on stage with Kobe Bryant and Derek Jeter. And it was all about leadership and mentorship and experience and being in the business, whatever industry that you're in for so long, and, and, and how you just stay creative and hungry and passionate. Um, and I thought it, and it was packed. I, one of the comments was they couldn't believe on the day after the big party night of, of all the partners, um, that you still have a lot of energy, a lot of energy on the floor. Um, ultimately, it's still about data, which is great for our business that we can get into as, as NetApp. Um, there's a lot of buzzword bingo going on here, John, uh, all week, whether it's machine to machine, blockchain, cloud. And at the end of it, it's still our customers who we've talked to a lot this week. And wow, what are we going to do with our data? How do we analyze it? And how do we improve that user experience based on all this data that we have? And I think that's one of the things that I see on the floor that's almost overwhelming with the amount of people, 30,000, all the partners, just a lot of information. Um, and lastly, I'll say the good news with that is everybody is hungry for content. Um, whether it's a mini theater, whether it's at one of the booths, uh, interactions one-on-one, -on -one, it's people are hungry for what is happening in the industry. And I think that's exciting for all of us. Well, we do our part in, in, in trying to get as much coverage as possible, even if we uh, are going to do it from Palo Alto. <clears throat> Question for you on NetApp. I mean, sure. you guys have been, I mean, the scuttlebutt in, in Silicon Valley is that that's, NetApp is doing very well uh, with the hyperscalers. And obviously, I know for a fact, I've interviewed the former CEO and others in, within NetApp. They were really on early with SA, uh, AWS. And obviously AWS, a big part of the uh, announcement um, at Sapphire. So you guys are kind of like getting these relationships with these key players. Um, it's changed a little bit of the business model or culture within NetApp. What's different about NetApp right now in, 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 in with respect to some of the big players that you've had relationships with? It's not like this new, and new relationship with SAP. You guys have a deep relationship. What's changing as the cloud wave hits as the data wave hits, those are the biggest waves hitting the world right now. How are you guys playing in that world and, and share some insight there? Absolutely, no, great question, because you know, the world is going through digital transformation and so is NetApp. So we are actually celebrating our 25th year as a company uh, right now. And we've been a traditional global technology and data management company. And the digital shift to hybrid cloud is, is where we're moving. So specifically with partners like AWS, uh, Microsoft and Azure, the hyperscalers like CenturyLink, it's how we can help our customers really, you know, collect, transport, analyze, protect data in whatever environment they want to hold their, their, their data, whether it's on-premises, if you're in a cloud, you can choose whatever hyperscaler you want you still have to deal with the data. And then how do we manage it? How do we consume it? Uh, where is dead data that needs to be taken out? So you know, data is the currency and uh, with our data fabric methodology and tools from software, hardware, um, we're really able to help manage 
uh, that complete life cycle, whether it's SAP or any other type of environment you hold. So the exciting thing for us, and the stock price is, is showing that as a, at an all-time high, is what Bill McDermott said on Monday in the keynote, or excuse me, Tuesday. You know, data is the currency. Our new mission statement is we're trying to empower our customers to change the world with data. So back to the buzzword uh, bingo comment I made earlier, we're still dealing with the fact that we have all these great technologies, all these sensors, machine to machine, uh, on-prem to cloud. At the heart of everything is the data and what you do with it. And I think the, one of the things that NetApp does and the best in the world of is we continue to evolve digital transformation with the tools on how we deal with data. So what about the data that's, dynamic? That's kind of data, data, data is, yeah. the, is the fundamental story, in my opinion. Cloud has been around, Clouderati, we were part of that from the beginning. Now cloud is mainstream, Amazon stock price is looking like a hockey stick now, it's going straight up. But that took years yeah. of, of development, right? I mean, you saw the cloud formation coming mm -hmm. You know, really in the mid 2000s, and then really at 2008, 9, 10 was the was the foundational years, and then the rest is history. Data is now going through the same thing as people get over <laughs> themselves and say, "Okay, big data is not Hadoop; it's everything." Um, IoT is certainly highlighting a lot of that. SAP has recognized that legacy systems have to move to a multi-cloud and certainly multi-vendor world in a whole new way. But the end of the day, at the end of the day, you still got to store this stuff. Right, so that's Correct. your business. How are you keeping up with the moving train of data as it architecturally shifts in the marketplace? Great question. Uh, I, I think that we have some of the best minds in, in Silicon Valley, again, been there 25 years. Um, I think with the deep relationships we have with, co with companies like SAP, um, on the front end, I think the one thing that we bring as a value to SAP is the consumption model licenses. Through owning the data and the, the, the user experience, uh, we're able to enable and, and accelerate the license uh, consumption uh, to the edge, right? From application into the system. From, from an architectural standpoint, it still comes down to the things that we are creating in the labs uh, and launching around like the data fabric, the, the, the tool system, really software. The software that can help uh, from, from an analytical perspective, right, affect the user experience. Uh, everybody wants it live. Um, and the other part is the data protection and, and, and the DR aspect of it. And I think that's another core competency that we're continuing to, to develop as a service uh, for the customers. So uh, I, I hope I've answered your question. Yep. Um, but, but it well, definitely I mean, the bottom line, been, what, you know, why yeah. NetApp? Say I'm a customer, like, yeah. okay, I get the SAP, uh, why, why, should I, yep. why should I go with you guys over a uh, new, the Dell EMC powerhouse over there or the um, white box uh, storage? Oh, I mean, at the end of the day, we are the best at capitalizing the value of data in the hybrid cloud. I mean, nobody can help collect, analyze, test, and do life cycle management live like NetApp can. Um, and that's the reason that we uh, are, are, are going more upstream, you know, selling, like we say, ABC, always selling to the CXO. Uh, I think we're changing the landscape from a true storage company on the infrastructure side to a, a full end-to-end -end hybrid cloud data management portfolio company. And uh, it's, it's been proven by the, the acquisition of SolidFire from uh, bringing Flash into the portfolio, um, you know, our, our, our cloning and snapshot capability. So anywhere in the stack at any time during the day when you're looking live at your operations or your data that you can take live snapshots um, just if there's a, a glitch from a data protection side or there, there's some type of spike from a request on the, um, you know, ticketing side or demand side of your system. So I think that's some of the things that we're differentiating. Um, and that's the reason that the, the AWS's and the Azure's and the SAP's are, 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 are so excited about co-innovating together uh, to again, improving the customer experience with their data. RJ, final question. Uh, what's the, the net net? What's the bumper sticker for you this year at Sapphire in 2017? What's the walk away um, you know, revelation? Well, I think from the SAP side, it, it's the revelation on the push of Leonardo. Uh, I, I think that, that SAP, I'd like to see them continue to hone out the, the what or, and the if for partners with Leonardo from, the, uh, from blockchain and, and machine to machine 
um, and IoT. For us, it is the, the, the beautiful fact that now at the center of everything that SAP and the ecosystem is trying to do is around the data side of it, and it's the actual currency. And the fact that we have kind of the, the leading edge tools to enhance the customer experience with our platform for customers and partners' data is really, really exciting for us. And uh, we're excited. We, uh, we are all psyched to be partnered with the Cube, and uh, everything we do is in the cloud. So uh, we're right. here to help. RJ, thanks so much for taking the time calling in from Orlando. RJ Bibby, SC, S, S, SAP Global Alliance Executive uh, with NetApp. He runs a relationship with NetApp. And again, it's been a long-term relationship. I remember taking you know, photos on my phone way back in the day, eight years ago. So not a new relationship and continued momentum. Congratulations and thanks for uh, sharing the insight from Orlando. Appreciate it. You bet. Thanks for the partnership. Have a great day. Okay, more coverage from uh, theCUBE in Palo Alto on SAP. Sapphire 2017 after the short break, stay with us.